Hi, how are you? It is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We're a bit more. Actually, I watched the yesterday's video back, Katie. Oh. We were a bit flat, weren't oh, we? Oh, sweet Jesus. And I, I don't know, and I sort of went, oh, yeah, it's Monday. People will understand. Yeah. It is Monday. Today's not Monday. No, it's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. So we're doing all right. Um, Bushmills yesterday. I've got a good few questions about Bushmills yeah. as well. People are asking me after the fact and that. Good, so good bit of interest. Good bit of interest. Uh, as I've said, I always rated Bushmills highly, and I think it's hopefully now getting the kudos it deserves. Today, our selection includes um, World Whiskies and Other Spirits. So we always have had, well not always have had, I think we nearly always have Nearly, had, yeah. Um, other Spirits. We get, a lot of people sort of go, well, do you just sell Irish whiskey? And we sort of went, eh, No. We wanted to focus on Irish whiskey yeah. because it wasn't getting the love it needed in other markets and other auctions. So we said we were Irish whiskey auctions. But Sorry, it depends. I'm just looking at some of that stuff, it's like, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it depends on how you say it. It depends on whether it's Irish whiskey auctions or Irish whiskey auctions. Do you get it? It's no. All where you pause. Is it? Okay. Absolutely. When it comes to that. Anyhow, so where do we start? Bottom top. You pick. I don't care. We'll go with the other spirits first because, 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 because. Uh, other spirits. So we always, every month, there's a few things in there. People pick it up. We're getting questions about grappa. Uh, there's a couple of guys who were asking me about grappa. I don't know about grappa other than it's mad stuff when you drink it. Yeah, but it's made from the skins of grapes. I know that, but I got hoofed drunk on it. I know nothing about it. Right, okay. It is fantastic stuff. And getting hoofed drunk on these things is quite fun. Okay. What was the other stuff I got? Calvados. Oh, man. Man, it gave me such a hangover. We were in, me and Jerry and a few of them were on the motorbikes and we were in the oh, north of France. Calvados? Yeah. It was Lemoncello. No, no, that was another time. This was, this was, that was another time. <laughs> There's lots of examples of that. And then, uh, I think Grappa, we were in Andorra. Yes. And after dinner, we got. Yes. Elephant strong. I mean, <laughs> sort of, you know, you're feeling the ground in front of you with your foot just to make sure it's there. You know. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so. That's very drunk. It was very drunk. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, and the next day I haven't even we actually the next day we didn't get on the motorbikes. We said, oh, yeah, <laughs> um, so grappa. There's an old bottle of grappa, Natal 1987. Do you know what Natal means? You should know that from your French. I should, should I? Yeah, born. Mate, that date the naissance for, for French. There's me, made me French again. Uh, grappa, yeah. does grappa mont? Uh, that the just looks like no, I that, that's that's a bad night. <laughs> that's that's, what a, that that's is. a good time. No, that's that, that, oh, okay. There might be a good night, but a bad morning. Oh, it should be sensitive after. <laughs> um, there's another bottle of grappa there, 86. So we've an 86 and an 87 eight vintage grap. There's a, a dry gin from Italy, Sarty dry gin. There's a, an old vodka. I think it's a vodka. Is it a vodka, Jade? You know your vodkas. Sure. Obtained from the distillate of selected plums. Plums. So it's plum liqueur. Yeah. Can't call it plum juice. That's a different thing. <laughs> uh, sherry. So lots of guys are talking about sherry because we we were sort of infatuated with sherry finishes Just, on yeah. on uh, thing. So a lot of guys, I think uh, I can't remember who done it. I think it was Chris Hennessy done a tasting with all the different sherries. He did because we because we have samples up, 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 up in the, uh, not upstairs in the office. Upstairs in the office. <laughs> we're all on the ground floor. Uh, I think it's great experience for people to taste the different sherries. Yeah. Because then you see... Or even the just the smell of them. Even, even just the smell it's of them. Amazing. But you, you start looking for the notes then in the yeah. whiskies when they're finished on and all that sort of stuff. So it, it is good for guys who are into whiskey, who want to learn more about whiskey, who want to develop their palates and mm. see the taste and all that sort of stuff to taste the sherry. So again, there's a, a, a Marsala Superior. Mm. Look at that. And I don't speak Italian, but I can say that. And... Oh, she's probably Spanish after a <laughs> I don't know speaking of many lingos. Uh, no speaking of many lingos. Uh, and that one as well. So that's it. Oh, actually, this I wanted to touch on. Hennessy. So whiskey collectors are also branching into. I do have a few fine cognacs you myself. Do. I do have a, a rather one or three. Um, Hennessy, again, has an affiliation with Ireland. This one is a, a limited edition bottle that was done by Scott Campbell. He was a. a Tattooist, I think, in America, IA, 
And uh, actually, it probably doesn't mean that. Yeah, the design on the bottom. On the bottom is actually pretty cool. I know. I was going to say it's all in French, but it's not. It's just words eau de vie. They're not French. That's French, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't say about a minute. Anyway, so that's it. But these are actually collectible. Absolutely collectible, and I know guys go mad looking for them. Bimber. 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 It's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? Uh, the London Distillery they've got huge following mm, they do. Uh, every time one of them comes up on the UK auctions or they've got a new release going or um, stuff coming out people go into them they do a lot of their stuff by ballots uh, or uh, limited releases so they're all different cast ones Baker Street King's Cross that one's from Selfridges mm-hmm. you'd love to get loose in Selfridges wouldn't you there's loads of places I'd love to get loose Harrods and Selfridges <sighs> I reckon you could cause some serious carnage to a credit card in there. Very, very quickly. Yes. But then again, as I'm getting older, I'm like, do I really need this? Oh! Speaking of fashion. Yeah, I know. Look what we're wearing. Oh, look, yeah. Sky in the ground. Johnny, Johnny Barron and, and Anya and all the team down in Sky in the ground. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was nearly in tears. Yes, it was... <coughs> Sorry. Really... <coughs> Ebola? <laughs> no, I'm not right. I, right. Got, I got jabbed. Um, yes, Sky in the Ground. So, uh, for those of you that may not know who... who, who the, Sky in the Ground was damaged by a fire in an adjacent building. Yeah. Um, they lost some of their property. They There was a lot of damage there done. Was. I mean, it really took me back when we were down there. Yeah, and even the smoke damage that got into the rest of it as well. Especially seeing the bar empty. After seeing it full, and if you'd ever seen the sky in the ground full, it was class. With it all the just, stuff. I know this is a, but it was full of shit, but it was interesting. Quality merchandise. It, it, no, no, it was old stuff. and. I can't believe you're saying that, but poor Johnny Barnes. Johnny knows what I mean. It wasn't full of shit. You and the, say and the coolest thing was all his whiskies were hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. That and was the, class along the bar. If the fire had got a hold of that side of the bar, oh. gone. The, the whole thing's and gone. They were asleep and upstairs. they were asleep. They were asleep. They live up yeah. upstairs uh, and they were blessed. So when the sky in the ground opens again, people, love and love and support. Get back in there. Yeah. He does the, the, the taste of the taste from the sky, I think they're called. Drops from the sky. Something taste with skies. And he <gasps> but anyhow, love uh, you, Johnny. But he sent up t-shirts. Yay! T-shirts, sky in the ground. Any other brands want to get in on this party? <coughs> Make sure they're at 2XL or XL. Even this is a bit of XL, this is a bit... Snug. Well, show, no, I think so, shows right. off my... Your muscles. <laughs> and my bulging fat. Um, back to whiskey, Katie. Right, really back to whiskey. Because Jade will kill us. Really quickly. Uh, American whiskey. Uh, we always have a couple of the Wellers in. They're always there. They do well. Uh, Blanton's. They're getting a good following. Blanton's is nice. I got to taste it. It's fab. You did? I did. It is? It is. That's nice. Yeah, and then we've the Cavalan as well. And the Cav- I'm going to come to the Cavalan in a second. High West uh, Campfire. Made with straight... <laughs> blended malt Scotch whiskey. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? Made with straight rye whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey, and blended malt Scotch whiskey. Would that be considered a bastard? Language, Anto. Well, it sort of no right. patronage at all. <laughs> um... Rua, American single malt whiskey. That's mm. an oddity. It is, but it's becoming more popular. Release in ten batch eighteen. I'm taking this down. You love that down. I can't handle that because it, it falls apart. Yeah. John, you alright? Yeah, I'm grand okay. now. That helps. Uh, Woodford Reserve. That's a special uh, Baccarat edition. Uh, the decanter. So Look the Baccarat. In that beautiful. The stopper. I want to stop. The yeah. Baccarat is. Uh, they do the Louis the the tres, the the cognac cask. The crystal decanters and them can be worth money on their own. They are a serious bit of kit. Um, just the empty decanters. Yeah. So to have it in a presentation with that, uh, that's also Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in XO Cognac Barrels. Ooh. I'd say that's tasty. Yeah. I would say that's tasty. And it's pretty. Mm-hmm. It sure it's is pretty. pretty. <laughs> you do have a pretty... No, I can't say that one. Stop. Um, and then last but not least... Cavalan, do you stand a whole night for the I'm rest of this? I'm going to close it now. You sure? Yeah. Uh, Cavalan, uh, Taiwanese single malt whiskey. They're getting great following. I know Paul is doing a tasting. One of his uh, days or one of his events is with Cavalan. 
Uh, so that would be a good one to I get a part of a couple of well. guys who have tasted it and they said it's fabulous. Cavalan? Yeah. We, did we not have one? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. It wasn't yesterday. Anyway. No. So that's it. Uh, American whiskies. Uh, look on the side, on the filters. You've got American and then you've got other spirits. Other spirits will have all the weird and wonderful stuff. <laughs> um, and then you've also got the other whiskies. Uh, world whiskies, I think I've called them. Yeah. Um, and they're all there. And a big congratulations to Cologne for getting their own um, section on our website. Yeah, I think we milked that one a wee bit yesterday. I possibly might have over-egged it a little bit. Lads were sort of going, oh, it's not a big deal. So it's it not. is a big deal. It is. It is. No, they sell enough of it now to warrant having a category. Well done, and guys. It's long overdue. I should have done it ages ago, but... <sighs> Yeah. It took me to tell you. You didn't tell no, me. I'd I done it on instinct. And then you said, oh, I was supposed to tell you to you do You did, that. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have a, I have a sixth sense, or mm. six cents. Uh-huh. But anyhow, we'll do... What are we doing tomorrow, Scotchists? Scotchists. So we'll see you tomorrow. We'll have whiskey from the Scottishists. Bye. Bye.